Hello and welcome to PROF. Manish Nair. So beyond interview, when you are trying to get into a corporate and you are getting selected for one good company, then you need to understand business ethics. Let's dwell upon business ethics this time. Definition and examples, of course. Your company, organization, a team may uphold certain business ethics to maintain employees' welfare. accountability and overall reputation you can also develop personal business ethics that align with your core values as you progress in your career in this particular shoot we will explore what business ethics is why it's important and how you can apply it in your workplace so let's understand what is business ethics business ethics is a practice that determines what is right wrong and appropriate in the workplace business ethics is often guided by laws and keep companies and individuals from engaging in illegal activity such as insider trading discrimination and bribery however other principles can influence how employees treat one another corporate social responsibility and relationships with clients and vendors The purpose of business ethics is to ensure a consistent moral attitude within the company from executive level management to new hires it helps to ensure everyone is treated with respect fairness and honesty importance of business ethics in the workplace there are tangible and intangible benefits to maintaining ethical practices in your workplace including improved employee retention strong business ethics often encourage managers to show appreciation for an employee's hard work as a result team members may be more loyal to the company and strive to be more productive it also means employees at all levels are less likely to be let go for reasons related to unethical behavior stronger collaboration team members who practice business ethics have respect for one another and work well together this camaraderie not only fosters a pleasant work environment but also helps with a team collaboration and productivity more effective leadership when a manager follows business ethics they are more likely to treat employees well as a result teams are more inclined to follow their lead this minimizes discipline issues and teams trust in managers and supervisors when tough decisions need to be made fourth increased professional value when you have a positive attitude towards your work and those you work with you can increase the quality of your work it also increases your value to your team and the company as a whole examples of business ethics in the workplace now how important this is the primary means by which a company communicates its ethical principles is through a code of conduct document which establishes the ethical standards of the company and its employees you are likely to be given a copy of this document upon employment and can review it when determining the best way to maintain business ethics in your workplace there are many examples of ways you can have an ethical work environment including report conflicts of interest many organizations have a policy regarding receiving gifts from clients or other external parties some may even have rules about part time work freelance opportunities and other side jobs in all cases these rules are meant to ensure employees operate within the limitations of conflicts of interest which can impact an employee's integrity take care of company property you are likely to use tools technology equipment and supplies provided by your employer these items are typically reserved for work use only 
follow any rules related to the use and maintenance of these items to ensure you are using company property respectfully. Third, lawfulness. Business ethics also include abiding by legal regulations and obligations regarding their business activities like taxes, worker safety and employment and labor laws. Companies that work within the boundaries of the legal system are more credible and honorable, which can establish a strong positive reputation as an employer that encourages high quality candidates to apply for roles. Fourth, use discretion with sensitive information. Some workplaces and roles may interact with sensitive data or materials, which requires employees to practice discretion through careful organization, the use of passwords and other security measures. Consult your code of conduct to understand the stipulations of discussing and handling sensitive information in the workplace. Fifth, practice integrity. Hold your work to a high standard of fairness honesty and quality. You should be transparent in how well you are doing and areas you may be able to improve. Own up to your mistakes and work to correct them as soon as possible. Keep your team and supervisors informed of mistakes and progress to ensure everyone is updated. Sixth, keep a high attendance. Your workplace may have an attendance and tardiness policy to hold employees accountable for going to work and being on time. Showing up for work when you are expected demonstrates respect for your colleagues as well as your employer. You may request time off per your company's policy. If you are unexpectedly prevented from being at work by illness, accident or some other cause, let your manager or supervisor know as soon as possible. Your manager or supervisor can then make sure your work is handled by someone else in your absence. If you will be late, give your manager advance notice if possible. Seventh, respect co-workers and other office personnel. You can communicate respect for your colleagues by treating them professionally and as you would like to be treated. Workplaces typically abide by anti-harassment laws established by the federal government. Review these behavior limitations or discuss the policies with your employer or human resources department should have a question. 8. Follow dress code. The way you dress can impact the work atmosphere and the way people relate to you. Make sure your clothing choice follows the company's dress code to ensure professionalism with co-workers and external parties as well as safety and comfort while on the job. Number nine, discuss issues with management. There may be times when you face an ethical dilemma at work and this particular type of issue may not be covered adequately in the employee handbook or your training. For situations like this, you can consider discussing the issue with your supervisor, the human resources department or if the company has one an ethics officer. Working with someone familiar with the company's ethical standards can help you resolve these situations appropriately. Number 10. Workplace Diversity A business might express fairness by placing a high importance on having a diverse workplace. Achieving a diverse workplace means using recruiting practices that give equal opportunity to people from different ethnic, gender and social groups. Employing a diverse range of people gives the business the benefit of different perspectives and demonstrates that the company is serious about equality 
and treating all people with respect. Number 11. Seek further ethics training. Should you need more guidance on ethical behavior at work, your company may offer further training via seminars or online courses. These can help reinforce the points made in the company's handbook. If you are required to take ethics training annually, be sure to do so. Over time, these points will become familiar and will shape your business conduct. So I hope we have brought enough light, enough sense and maybe a broader vitality to the meaning of business ethics. Now, if you understand, I think you should get started working on it and slowly you will pick up. So there are many ways that you can improve your business ethics. They are all here in the video. Best wishes. Thank you.